Well, we're gonna try this a third time. The first one was a disaster. The second one worked. Let's see if the third one worked. So when I bought this car, um, before I bought this car, I bought lower end links because like I said, I was gonna replace it with the older F15 X5M and then I saw this and the wife fell in love with it and, and it's a beautiful vehicle. But no, it, that's the first thing I do to any vehicle is lower the suspension because it looks so much better. And um, so when I decided I was gonna buy one of these, I've been looking, 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 but I ended up buying a lower end link before I even bought the vehicle. I saw bu buying parts for this car before I even owned the car because I know I was gonna do it anyway. I was gonna buy this car no matter what. So I end up getting some lowering links and um, I'm just, I just hope it doesn't give me too much problem to lower this one. Um, I forget what brand it was, but um, I got them just before I got the car and I stopped buying a lot of parts before I bought this car. <laughs> but um, so let me, um, let me get everything ready, show you what the height of this car is and uh, the big wheel gap you can shove your head in there. It's a, it's a SUV, it's gonna be high but they look so good low. And um, let me show you what I'm gonna do to it. And I can't wait to get to the final stage after the wheel goes on. So let me show you what the gap looks like and then we go from there. Yeah, this thing is always dirty, no matter how hard I try to clean it. Unlike Frank, I can't wash it every day, but I just, every time I wash it, it rains, so. But that's besides the point. So here we go. This is the height right now before I lower it. So that's the rear, and uh, this is the front. So like I say, pretty nice uh, gap. It's an SUV, it's gonna have a, a big gap. But let me press the button to lower it, like for when you have groceries or something big or heavy you wanna take out of the trunk. So if I do, when I do that, it will lower it down, and then uh, you kinda get an idea what it's gonna, what it's gonna look like. We have a button right here. It shows lower in the V because when I press that button, you're gonna see the front going down. There it is going down. Now the rear. <laughs> I can't go fast enough to keep up. So this is where it sits now. You can see there's way less wheel gap. This is where it sits now after you press the button and it goes down. And I think this is where I'm gonna lower it to, or probably lower. But like I said, because the wheels are so, uh, wow, sunken in, you can't really get a good view. But it went down quite a lot. So I'm going to probably go there or lower. I don't know yet. So when I do it, you'll see. But this is how, or maybe lower, it's gonna look when it's done. And I like the way it looks. Looks really good from here, but imagine when there's some wider wheels on here with some nicer wheels. Man, I can't wait, but let me get it up on the, the hoist and uh, go from there. The beast just chilling in the garage, almost done. Still gotta clean up from my last job. Still gotta ride a motorcycle. Still gotta put that engine in something. Still gotta put that tire on something. <laughs> like, there's so much to do, but, oh man. The Black Mamba is looking really good. Now this is what's gonna make all the difference in the ride height of this vehicle. And uh, let's hope this is the easiest uh, car that I've ever lowered because that's all you gotta put on, but sometimes these are more problems to take off. But thank God this vehicle is not too old. So we shouldn't have too much problem taking these off. So I'm gonna go set up my camera and try to get some video for you guys and see uh, how easy this goes. I attempted to remove the end link um, right here. So this little clip right here holds it in and then the other, other piece is on right here. I attempted to remove it from here and uh, let me show you the result. This is the result of trying to remove it when it's on the car because that thing is in there so tight. So I had to end up buying a new one. So all that, all that was broken was this little piece here. I had to buy a whole new arm. Good thing, um, you know, BMW hooked me up. So I had to buy a whole new arm just to get this one little clip because I'm gonna replace it with this. So I don't need the whole arm, but just to get that one little piece, 
because that goes from there into this piece, this hole right here. So I have to remove everything from the car. Now I'm gonna try and get this out without breaking it. And there's only one way I know how to do that. And before I tried uh, putting grease down there, I spray grease down there, tried to wiggle it out. It just wasn't coming out. So now I'm just gonna take my sander and I'm just gonna buzz this off here and it's just gonna release out of there quite easily. Cause I don't plan on going back to these. So if you're gonna do this, <laughs> good luck. Like I said, not because it's these days it's gonna be the easiest, cause trying to get them out of here, that's a whole new ball game. This is what broke the last time, so I gotta be careful with this one. So I'm just gonna take my time. I just grind it till I see a little bit of white and it pops off. And these, they come with this little safety pin. Whoop, once you pull it off, this pops, pops on. And you put the little safety pin back in there to make sure the ball doesn't pop out. And that locks it in. This is all locked on there now. These, I, I already adjusted these. Um, from what I read online, the back ones are supposed to be two millimeters shorter, I think. You know what, I'm not sure. I'll find the right measurement and I'll let you know. Same thing with this one. Just move it over. You go till you see a little pop and it pops out. Maybe someone could find a better way of doing it. This, you know what, I don't wanna break another one. I don't plan on reusing those, so. Pop it in. Pop that back in. Boom, reassembled. Now I just have to put this back on the car and the back is done. Now I just have to do the front. And for the front, we have a 10 mil bow here and a Torx under here. I'm gonna take it off. Wow, that wire is tight. Unplug it, and once I do that, then I can take it out and do the same thing I just did to the back one. That's it, front is done, put it on, plug it in, and uh, hope for the best. So to adjust these lengths is gonna be different for everyone. Most people are just, whoever's gonna lower this X5 probably not wanna go as crazy as me. I like to tuck my stuff nice, not tuck it, but make it sit right at the wheel. I don't slam them yet, <laughs> but you can find that information online. For the rear, you make it shorter. For the front, you make it longer. I know that might sound weird, but you're tricking the front thinking it's it's too high so it's going to lower itself so the front links are going to be longer the rear links are going to be shorter so what you got to do is just measure I, I would suggest you adjust all of them at once and do remember to unplug these links before you start or you're going to get um codes and you know it's going to pop up and you're not they're not going to sit right so unplug them first which is a bastard Maybe I should say this at the beginning of the video, but make sure you unplug these uh, sensors first, the, the end links, because they're, uh, they're gonna be a, a good thing. I forgot to do one of them and it gave me codes and the vehicle was sitting weird. I cleared the codes and they drove it around the block and it went back down fine. So just remember to unplug them first and adjust them to what you want. Front longer, rear shorter. And that's it. Uh, back links are installed not much to see like I said they're just end links and there it is and there is the front one and I hope this is the only adjustment I have to do but knowing me there's gonna be have to be you know adjusting here tuning here but that's all a part of modern vehicles I'm gonna throw the wheels on put it on the ground and see how it sits I know to some people this won't look low but it's actually a lot lower so this is in the regular mode right now, not uh, unloading mode as I call it. It still looks high, but trust me, it goes down a lot more. Um, 
this is not the full ride height I'm gonna set it yet I'm gonna wait till I get my wheels and then I set it to the right height but this is actually a, a, over an inch lower than what it was before so this is what I'm driving around with right now but I'm gonna show show it to you in unloading mode and it's gonna be pretty close to that when the wheels go on and it's ready to go on the road and run around looking pretty as usual but trust me it might not look low now but I can guarantee you it's a lot lower than before but man it's I drove past it the other day while she was on her way to work and it just looks so good low but I'm gonna put it in lower end mode and give you a let you see what it looks like <laughs> The video doesn't do it justice. It's, it's it looks a lot lower in real life. The, the the video shows like it hasn't been lowered, but I'm telling you, I drove by this thing the other day. She was driving to work and boogieing as usual, and I'm telling you, this thing looks so good. And it's gonna go a bit lower when I get the wheel, and I can do the fine tuning and fine adjusting. So, yeah, that's another one. That's another project kind of knocked out of the park, but. Just adjusting these things is a pain in the ass because I have to be careful not to break any more of those uh, clips because I'm not buying another one. So I have to be careful not to break any more of those clips. And you got to take, actually, no, because it has a little pin in there. Now I remember, because it now I have the little pin in there, it's a lot easier to adjust these ones. But it's still a pain in the ass. But it looks good. Remember, share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. You want to see these videos keep coming? You got to do what you do, man. Keep me going. So that's it no i'm not gonna even say anything that's it for now just gonna wait to see what's coming up next later <laughs>